Let's start by looking at the power rule. If you have a power where the base is a variable and the exponent is any real number, then you can find the derivative as follows. You multiply the coefficient in front of the x by the exponent and then subtract 1 from the exponent. To clarify, there really is a 1 as the exponent here. So the derivative is n times 1, which is n, and then we subtract 1 from the exponent n. Let's look at an example. Let's say we wanted to find the derivative with respect to x of 2x cubed. Following the power rule, we take the coefficient 2, multiply by the exponent 3, and then subtract 1 from the exponent. This would give us 2 times 3 is 6. Subtracting 1 from 3 would be x squared. Let's look at another example. Let's say we wanted to find the derivative with respect to x of 1 over 3 square root x. First, let's rewrite this as finding the derivative with respect to x of 1 third x to the negative 1 half using our exponent laws. Now let's apply the power rule. So we'd multiply the coefficient 1 third by the exponent negative 1 half and then subtract 1 from the exponent. And if we did that, we would get negative 1 sixth x to the negative one and a half or negative three over two. Now that's a perfectly satisfactory answer, but if you want to put it back in the form that the question was originally given, we can just rearrange it and get negative one over six square root x cubed. Now, let's use the power rule to help solve a problem. Let's say we're given the function y equals 2x cubed, and we wanted to find the slope of the tangent line when x equals 1. By definition, the derivative gives us the slope of the tangent line at any point on the curve. So we'll find the derivative of this function, and we can use the power rule like we did up here. So the derivative with respect to x would be 6x squared. And then to find the slope of the tangent line at x equals to 1, we simply substitute 1 into the derivative. So we would get 6 times 1 squared, which would be 6. Let's look at it graphically. Here's a graph of the function y equals 2x cubed. And if we drew a tangent line at the point 1, where x equals to 1, right there, the slope of this particular line would be 6. Okay, now let's take a look at the sum, or if you want, you like the difference rule. This states that if we're taking the derivative of two functions that are added or subtracted, then we can simply take the derivative of the first function add or subtract the derivative of the second function. Let's look at an example. Let's say we had the function f of x equals x cubed minus 3x plus 2. Applying the sum rule, the derivative would be the derivative with respect to x of the first term, x cubed, minus the derivative with respect to x of the second term, 3x, plus the derivative with respect to x of the third term, 2. Now we can apply the power rule to each of these. And so the derivative of x cubed would be 3x squared. The derivative of 3x would be minus 3. And the derivative of the constant 2 is 0. There's also something called the constant rule, which means any constant, its derivative is 0. You can think of it this way. This really means 2x to the 0 
So if we apply the power rule, 2 times the exponent 0 would end up giving us 0. Okay, cleaning this up, we'd end up with a derivative being 3x squared minus 3. Now let's use this sum rule to solve a problem. Let's say we wanted to find the points on the graph of y equals x cubed minus 3x plus 2, where the tangent line is horizontal. Let's visualize the problem first by looking at it graphically. Here's the graph of y equals x cubed minus 3x plus 2, and the tangent lines will be horizontal here and here. In other words, when x is equal to negative 1 and when x is equal to 1. Now let's verify that algebraically using calculus. So the first step is to find the derivative of this function because by definition the slope of the tangent line is given by the derivative. Now we've already done that up here so we know that the derivative is 3x squared minus 3 using the sum rule. So what we want to do is find out when the derivative is equal to 0. And the reason is because these horizontal tangents have slope of 0. And by definition, the derivative gives us the slope of the tangent line. So we set the slope of the tangent line equal to 0. So we'd get 3x squared minus 3 equal to 0. And now we just solve using algebra. Adding 3 to both sides, we get 3x squared is equal to 3. Dividing both sides by 3, we'd end up with x squared is equal to 1. And we'll take the square root of both sides, and that would give us x equal to plus or minus 1. So the tangent line is horizontal, as we've seen, when x is equal to negative 1 and when x is equal to 1. Now we're asked to find the point, so we have to go ahead and find the y values. So we can just simply substitute x equals plus or minus 1 into the original equation. And if we did that, if x was equal to 1, that would be 1 minus 3 plus 2, which would be 0. So that will give us this point right here. And if we plug negative 1 into here, we'd get negative 1 cubed, which is negative 1, Negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3, plus 2 gives us 4. So to answer the question, the tangent line is horizontal at the points 1, 0 and negative 1, 4. And there you go.